is every time she called the attorney, she got an answer that she couldn't understand in a bill. So, well, my grandson kind of owes me, and that's, that's fair. <laughs>
And now everything else that you expect to see in a will, if you pass on, here's where things go. And all the stuff about control. Here's how the successor trustee would step in and manage things for me if I became incapacitated and couldn't handle it. All that's spelled out inside the trust. But then assets end up being titled in the name of the trust. So you're actually changing the ownership of your real estate to your trust. And the easiest way to think about this as a concept is as if it were a corporation and you were the only shareholder, you were the only member on the board of directors, you were the only corporate officer, you still keep control of everything, but all your assets that are in the trust, it's like you're slapping a label on it that says it's owned by the trust. So without losing any kind of control, it stays out of that court process for not just death, but incapacity. So this is what actually my grandmother put together for her estate, and my father and my aunt, they settled the whole thing within a couple of weeks, and it was just done. 